Hey guys. Echo, echo, echo. Anyway, let's go ahead and finish off Gideon, open some packs, hopefully get some Thalias in foil. Okay, cool. We're battling this other dude. Nice. Is this deck any good? Probably not. Will we have to attack all the time? Probably yes. Oh, actually, this card is pretty good. I actually enjoy this card. It is, I believe, a 5-5 that comes back from your graveyard. And of course, we get the crappy cards as usual. So off we go. We have two five drops, which is not great. Oh, we have Banisher Priest. Okay, so our deck is... We got to save him for the Titan. Definitely got to save him for the Titan because... We don't want to use him too early. Good, another land. Just curving out like... Like it's kind of designed for us to win this game. And let's attack. So we need to get like a lot of packs. And we need the reason we need to get so many packs is so I can play you guys. Which would be a lot of fun. Now imagine how awesome it would be if you guys had this game. Which doesn't cost any money. And we played each other. I would be, pre I would be a lot of fun. I'm guessing. So we could. Yeah he's going to take my Banisher Priest. If he's smart. Wait, is that any card or just a sorcery or... Um, I think it's any card. Yep, he took Banisher Priest. We got to attack into it and then... Oh man, he took Banisher Priest. But we can do like a tremendous amount of damage here. Which is good. And down to 12 he goes. Uh, anyway, we in this current setup, we couldn't really do anything to stop from him from taking, I mean, it was a turn two. Maybe we can get play a Banisher Priest to get rid of, I mean, that's a lot of damage. That is a ton of damage to him that he's down to 11 and he can't even play himself until like a turn later. And attacking for one, that's okay because that means he doesn't have any blockers unless he plays another creature. I will trade one damage for seven any day. And he plays a 1-4 Constellation over another enchantment. Okay, good, fine. We lose one life. Good. That's okay. It's a 1-4, meaning it cannot kill either of our creatures. We're probably going to draw a land here, and then, you know, we're going to draw another land, and then we'll get to decide what bomb we want to play. And continue the attack. We're going to get at least 3 damage in. Get him down to a 8. Oh, interesting block. So we get the 4 damage in. And get him down to 7. And we both survive, which is good for both of us. And off we go. So he can play himself right now. I think he comes in and plays a 5-5. Five five. Let's see if he has a bomb. Nope, that is not a bomb. Although, I think it's going to... How much damage is it going to do? One or two? I think it's going to do two damage to me. That's one. And that's two. Oh, that's three damage. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, and we did not get our fifth land, which kind of is uh, weird that we didn't get our fifth land, but we will attack in anyway. He might do a double block here, but it's okay because we get our Banisher Priest back. Off we go, and we're gonna attack. And yeah, this is exactly how I expected him to block. And I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna definitely gonna kill that creature. And I get my Priest back, which is fine. Because that's what I need for the next turn. That's a fine... That's a good exchange for me, I feel. And... He's going to kill my 4-2, which is fine. That's, that's okay. Does he want to attack? Probably not. Get my land... I will play my, hmm, this is kind of a tricky one. I do want to attack in for four, maybe offer a trade. But this guy is just so much better right now. Like six damage in the air, crazy good. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and skip my attack phase because there's not much, I mean, there's no reason for me to do that. He'll, he, he'll just double block and kill me. Hopefully he doesn't have any bombs. Maybe he has a Grave Titan, that would be kind of bad. But a lot of damage in the air next turn. Okay, so here we go, we win the game because we're going to double pump this dude. We double pumped him and now we're going to attack in for the win. Easy game, so Magic Origins, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. The, the graphics are, oh, what the heck is this? No. What? He <laughs> Okay. Um What just happened here? That sucked. I did not know that he had that removal. And if he plays Grave Titan here, we might be in trouble. Although we'll just remove Grave Titan. Oh no. Oh no. Man, he's playing a Relatively decent deck, a lot better than I expected. He's going to negative our creatures, of course, and hopefully he does not have a one mana enchantment, or we would one of our creatures would die. So yeah, we can play both of these. We're going to obviously take care of the big. Um, well, we obviously have to take out that card. That's like his best card by. F so we chose this creature. And it's going to die, or it's going to be removed, and we'll play our this creature. We'll attack in for... I mean, there's no reason for me to attack with the, this dude right now. We'll attack in, and off we go. Next turn's interesting. Next turn, we can do five in the air, assuming he doesn't have removal. And yes, then he'll be dead. Oh, we do six in the air. What is this? Oh, that's not that's not relevant at all. Although it will trigger Constellation. This is a very interesting deck. Um, it's not bad. Like I actually enjoy playing it against it, and it's a lot closer than my other matchup. But again, he doesn't have any flyers, and he's just attacking for no reason. Okay, so we draw, oh, this guy again. Okay, we'll play him, and then we'll attack with the two flyers. It could have gotten kind of bad if he had um the one dude. And we win the game, and we get to open our packs. Nice. What are we going to get in our fake magic packs? I don't know. Oh, also, there's a link to download this game. Uh, below and I would want you guys to download it because then you guys can play me. I think there's multiplayer or do a oh nice. Well, we only got 55 gold coins that time. I don't know what happened. We didn't do enough training and Gideon is good. Yeah, young teenage Gideon. Yeah, we won. Awesome. We beat that dude. Oh, and then we tried to kill him and we get punished. I read the story. So let me narrate the story. Oh, I'm going to try to kill this dude, but he's the god of death and he's going to punish me now because he's pissed off because I defeated his champion. And Planeswalk. Yes, I became a Planeswalker. But all my friends died. Like from childhood. It was terrible. I should, like, he gets indestructibility, but, like, no one else does. At all. They all don't, oh, and now we go to Bant. Is that Gideon? E no, it's not Gideon. Alura, I believe, is the planes we're currently on. All right, let's get some booster packs. Nice. So we completed Gideon's, and we'll, okay, we get some booster packs, and we will open these booster packs as we continue. Let's open booster. How do we open this? Oh, nice. We got this card. We need this card. Okay. 
that's actually a very relevant card that we have we need. And let's next booster. Oh, so you have to like click on it to unwrap it. <laughs> okay, this card's not bad. I mean, it's not like terrible, but we do need like a I think all the cards are in Magic Origins. And no, that, oh, Mill. Okay, so our, uh, oh, we can buy more booster packs. Let's buy two more, let's buy two more boosters. And then let's buy two more. Oh, let's open the booster and can we get a Planeswalker, please? Planeswalker, oh, more. <sighs> More mail cards. And... Oh, Languish is a good card. I don't mind getting a Languish. Let's keep buying, because that's what MTG Line does. He just buys stuff, and he really doesn't need. Okay, per perfect. We're going to open up Booster Pack. Uh, what? Oh, no, we don't want that one. Okay, come on. Good card. Planeswalker. We're due for a Planeswalker. And my favorite card of all time. Our, okay, so these booster packs were really bad. It's like real life. <laughs> oh, man. It's like real life. So we wasted all of our money on things that we really didn't need. Let's do story mode. Oh, so can we do this campaign again or no? Looks like the answer is no, we cannot do this campaign again. Um, battle mode? No, we definitely don't want to play against anyone because our deck kind of sucks. Uh, we This is not enough coins for us. Where's the training mode? Oh, we can uh, play a... Uh, yeah, cool. So if you guys have this card, if you have this game, then we can play... So, where's the story mode? Ooh, quest. And... So, I may, uh... Level zero? What? Okay, okay, let's go back to story mode, and let's play another story. We'll play Jace, and... We'll try to go as fast as possible to make this... Video, like, ten minutes. Uh oh, this is like the guy who picked on Jace. Yeah, well, you're often picked on because you are too good for everyone else. That's exactly what I was, Jace. Look at all these kids picking on him. Major Ring Bullies! <laughs> oh my gosh! Why? Uh, keep hand, whatever. I mean, the hand's not bad. We have a lot of, like, big creatures. This will play very differently. Um, okay, these cards cost a lot. What is this? Uh, flying, yada yada. How many minutes are we into this? We're 13 minutes in. Okay, we drew a two drop. No, that card is not very good. So we're playing this really slow deck. Shuffle all the cards from your library into your, your graveyard and into your library. Target player puts that many cards on top of his or her library. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what that does. Oh, it, it mills? Are we really trying to play mill here? Um... Phantom Warrior, let's just try to end this fast. The dragon's really nice. I love that dragon, that 5-5 five, five dragon. It's crazy good, but he'll probably lightning bolt it or something. For a red deck, he hasn't really played any cards. Oh, he's got a 2-2 two, two dragon. Which is okay, because I'll play my 5-5 five, five dragon soon enough. What is this card? Uh, so it's more of the same. We'll play our dragon here. Dragon's obviously one of our better cards. We just have to hope that it does not get bolted. And in we go for two. 
I really hope that this is not a mill deck. Mill with 60 cards is extremely difficult to do. And we're done. Dude, I bet you his deck like sucks. <laughs> like turn four, he drops her. Oh, that's kind of annoying. And he's going to target probably my dragon to kill it. Yep, and my dragon dies. And he's able to do four damage to me. Oh, no. Well, he, he, oh man, he can kill my Phantom Warrior too? So is this guy like a lot better than the previous people we played? Or did I just misplay a ton? Because it, the previous people couldn't even do like any damage to me. And now I actually, oh, there's another dragon. Eh, let's play the other dragon out. I mean, that can't be wrong. Bait him into a... Uh, so that card is really annoying because it kills pretty much the majority of my team on the field. I mean, the Phantom Warrior is kind of nice. I don't know if we have any pump spells, but I mean, it's gonna it's done four damage so far. And he will kill my dragon. I think he has all land and off my dragon goes and he'll be able to pump and deal a bit of damage to it. But like I didn't have any other options. My other option was to play like a this card, this card, or this card. I mean that's not really And seven damage, nice. So we definitely have to play this card next turn just to get a blocker. And we don't have a blocker, so we'll have to play this card. Man, this is uh, not great. We missed our fifth land, and we don't have a flyer that doesn't die to... Hmm. So, maybe we lose this game. I, I doubt it, though. I mean, he plays something really good with a haste. Then, obviously, I have to kind of play this card right now. He does seven. Yeah, so this will prevent him from totally killing me. Otherwise, I would just be dead. Wow. That is not a fun card to play against. Land... No land, we are dead. Oh, yes, we are dead on board. Huh, how do we lose this game? Wow. There's really no reason to... Um, he's He got us. He got us. Do we lose gold coins? I guess that's interesting to tell if we lose gold coins. And yeah, obviously we have to... Oh, it's still our turn. And yes, that little card beat us. Wow, it's crazy. We never got to five. And he has two two dragon whelps. Yeah, I mean it's he, he got it. Good for him. I don't know what else I could have done to uh the only thing is not go as aggro of the dragons, but I can't play any other flyers. So, yeah. And we lose. Interesting. Interesting. So maybe it's a little harder than I gave it credit for. Anyway, I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.